It's been nearly a year since I reviewed Happy the Littlest Bunny. You remember that one, right? The one with the attempted bunny skinning and bullshit ending. These are the last vegetables you'll ever steal from my garden, you little thieves. Tell your friends I'll bring fresh vegetables out here for all of you every day until the harvest is over. And on into winter, too. Cocaine's a hell of a drug. So I figured I'd do myself a favor and review the last movie on this triple feature DVD. I mean, I've already reviewed these two, so how bad could the third one possibly be? Well, Little Princess was telling the same story twice in the same movie, and the only thing Happy was missing was a tattoo that said Thug Life. What could be worse than that? Well, for what it's worth, I feel pretty good about whatever stupidity Curly, the littlest puppy, could do. So, let's see what you got. I mean, look at the cover image. This couldn't possibly be awful, right? If Happy the Littlest Bunny can become an asshole in a movie, I'm pretty sure Curly over here will just, I don't know, take up terrorism for fun and profit. Whatever, let's just get this shit over with. Hey, it's great to see the ripoff roller coaster again. Ah, it feels like a nostalgic trip to hell. Why does this remind me of faculty meetings? It's only for a little while, there's no need to cry. Isn't this how Heidi opened up? With nature shots and nonsense lyrics? To me, no what... Hey, it's the roller coaster girl all grown up! what's going on, but I'm already depressed. Hello? Fuck, it's really dark in here. Maybe I can't touch you, but I'll hold you in my Seriously, is she okay? She might be legally dead. Move! For fuck's sake, do something! Does lip movement cost a billion dollars? Shit, not or something! I'm sorry you lost your job, Daddy. Oh, don't worry about it, Daisy. I'll find another one soon, and then we'll all be together again. Wow, this one went for the somber start. I mean, usually you get something like this around, I don't know, the end of the first third of the movie, but this one says, fuck it, let's go with bleak from the start. You know we love you, don't you, Erica? Of course, Mama. It's just that we're gonna miss everyone so much. It must be hard being a 25-year-old in a 10-year-old's body. Are you sure you'll be all right, Mikey? Yeah, I'm ditching you losers and starting my own tech company. Bye! You take care of this guy, okay? Okay, 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 okay. You're gonna be fine. Honest. I can't wait to go somewhere that at least has an Xbox. So, is she a ghost? Does she contribute anything? The taxi should be here any minute. Just think, your first taxi ride and your first airplane ride, both on the same day. You're going to have a fine time. Yes, being an unaccompanied minor is the thrill of a lifetime. Haley, breaking up the family like this is hard for all of us. After you leave, your father and I are going to bump uglies until daybreak. So you can come home to new brothers and sisters. Be a good girl for Aunt Judith now, okay? Don't worry. I get the feeling that the parents just don't like Haley. I mean, she's sent away the farthest, and she gets a plane ride and everything. That's real love. Aunt Judith has a pet anteater? Those pants. Are they fashions by Bozo? You mean-spirited, nasty mutt. I ought to- Well, Kathleen Barr is back at it again. Hot damn! Now all I need is Cam Clark to round out this bad animation brisket. Lovely, beautiful little girl. Who, me? Don't be ridiculous. 
I only care about this bitch, not you. I've told you, Madeline, not to do the child's work for her, haven't I? Yes, Miss Judith, but there are no buts, Madeline. Except my scrawny ass. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have wood to peck. Your house is so big and she's such a tiny little thing. I don't care. It will do her good to put a little muscle into her work. When did Wilma Flintstone become such an asshat? Trying to talk to those pretentious ladies auxiliary people into making me their president is the most tiresome thing I've ever been forced to do. Congratulations on winning the position of Queen Bitch. I feel the position is well earned. And you, clean Noblesse's basket and fluff her pillows. My precious little Poochie must be made as comfortable as possible before she delivers her litter. Is she like a reverse Cruella de Vil? Why doesn't Aunt Judith like me, Maddie? Because she hates clowns. Or half-breed clowns in your case. Are you ungrateful little brat? Nothing! I promise I was just... You were just torturing her, that's all! I'm telling you it's the clown pants. I know that dogs are colorblind, and even they can tell those pants are painful to look at. But I wasn't- Don't take your personal misfortune out on my pet, you horrible little creature! I kinda get the feeling she hates children. I mean, I find children to be disgusting bags of filth, but even I wouldn't say such a thing to their face. Anything for you that your father is my brother be- I don't want to see your cartoon boogers. Gross! Well, maybe I wish I did live on the streets. It might be better than living here with you and your stuck-up mean old dog! Did I just walk into a presidential debate? At least she has a bed. That's more than what Sarah Crew had. Does her aunt keep her in a metal barn? What kind of house is this? And where the hell is this dog? You know, the title character? What in the world? Almost 11 minutes in, and we finally see the mutt. This relationship won't be rushed at all. The hell? What happened to her bed and curtains since she opened the window? Jet lag was always the bastion of consistency. I said go to your room, and don't come out until I tell you to. Man, watching this scene reminds me of living with my mother. Oh wait, this video is coming out right before Mother's Day. I know. I'll send her some dead flowers. Oh look, unnecessary characters. I wonder how long they'll last. Now that sounds like my mother. It's the craziest trap you'll ever see. Saints preserve us. I do believe it's puppy time. Oh, gross. I ain't ready for this. Where's my catcher's mitt and Kevlar helmet? Well, if this isn't the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen. Yes. Kids in the 1990s just loved Groucho Marx humor. What's next? Fatty Arbuckle? Because you know he was hip with the kids. Would you like to continue as is, or would you like to disengage? I would like to disengage your head from out of your ass. Your food, plenty of milk, plenty of middle to fill up your middle. Attaboy, sick him. And if you eat too much, you're gonna be plenty sick. Yes, sickened. That's the perfect definition for how I feel about this character. Well, I didn't say it'd be easy, did I? And even if I did, are you really gonna believe a rodent who smokes a cigar? Remember, kids, drugs are bad. And cigars, they'll just turn you into a rodent asshole. Thank God my drug of choice is adrenaline. You know as well as I do what an actress noblesse is. She's doing just fine. Christ, the dog just doubled in size! Oh, how long will this go on, Madeline? I could end this real quick. Oh, I don't think I shall make it. I feel faint. Now, I can't be nursing the both of you, miss. Why don't you just sit down and put your head between your legs? And breathe out your ass. Here comes another one! <laughs> now, stay like that. Fatality. Uh, gotcha! That 
That's my little leprechaun. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. 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 <laughs> God. Okay. <laughs> okay. I agree with Queen Bitch. <laughs> oh. Good girl, Noblesse. You've delivered five beautiful babies. <laughs> this looks like a murder scene. I know what can help this. To get here, <laughs> Dude! You just can't go around suckling on strange teats! That should be illegal! Not to mention gross! How is this a family film? Do you think I ought to do something about Aunt Judith? The hell happened to her voice? So, did they accept the mud as their own? How did this work? Yes, Luf. How come Aunt Judith hasn't come into the kitchen since the puppies were born? She hasn't even seen no blessa since the birth. Well, that's simple. The only thing worse than children is childbirth. It's like watching the movie Aliens Live. There's a lot of crying, screaming, and puking. I think she was needing these past few days to tink up an excuse for acting so unladylike. I'm betting on the delicate blood explanation. Is that a euphemism for menopause? Do you think Aunt Judith will notice that he's not no blesses? Probably not. She is rock stupid. Perfect disguise. Why not give him a cardboard box for stealth mode? Hishtosh, a few days in bed and I'm as good as new. I don't know what could have possibly caused that violent allergic reaction. I'm sure your new toy from the adult store had nothing to do with it. This is Princess Penelope, Count Kierkegaard, the Duchess of Dunellen, Sir Winston, Lord Llewellyn. Those names suck. Let's try these. Duchess Dumbass, Prince Poop Sniffer, Marcus Moron, Viscount Venereal Disease, and Baroness Bitch Tits. What is that? Well, miss, I suppose you might call him a strange visitor from another planet. Did nobody have sex education in this house? What if Noblesse's children catch something from him? We don't know where he comes from, where he's been. Now, miss, I don't believe that husky is something anyone can be cat- Who pitches dogs? Much less who would pitch a husky? Those dogs are awesome! The husky? Mixing in with my prize pedigreed Afghan hounds? Are you out of your mind? Out! I want him out! Glad to see she's fully recovered from her delicate blood issue. Now it's just boiling. And you'll not be casting out a nurse and pop into the cold, cruel world until he's strong enough to make it on his own. Damn! Now punch her in the mouth! Am I making myself clear? Yes, ma'am. You surely are. Good. Now go walk into the white void you call a living room. Well, this escalated quickly. Gizmo is treated better in Gremlins. Well, maybe not. Well, 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 that was a very impressive entrance. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Say, is that a hungry look in your eye, or are you just glad to see me? Can somebody feed this mouse, Decon, please? Here we are. Ah. For once, please let a mouse trap work. <laughs> Well, I'll be a blue-nosed gopher. I don't know what that is, but I can bet it is illegal in 27 states, yet somehow popular in the South. Come on, doggy. Let's have a ball. We should do something a little special today. <laughs> I'll have the maid bring the bribe. I, I mean the bisque. The bisque. Careful to admit only the most compassionate and tolerant ladies. Of course. Yes, I can see the philanthropy oozing from the screen. She is an absolute delight. 
We get along famously. Why, you'd think she were my own daughter. We're so close. Just once I'd like to see her nose grow like Pinocchio's. Just lovely. How charitable of you to take her in, Judith. Child labor laws be damned. Come to me, my child. Make sure it goes exactly as planned. Or it gets the hose again. Isn't she beautiful? No wonder she's won so many trophies, Judith. She's perfection itself. Positively exquisite. Do these ladies live in North Dakota? They haven't been this excited since the Grand Forks Potato Bowl. And all that is is a bunch of fucking french fries. <laughs> now who in the world is this? <laughs> that is the funniest thing I've seen in all my days. <laughs> Dear Lord, was she born before the invention of fun? So your niece is as kind and charitable as you are, Judith. You must be so proud. I think the chemicals that are keeping your hair looking like that have finally seeped into your skull and fried the last five brain cells you have, lady. Where is any of this coming from? Good dog, Curly. Well, I for one am quite impressed. Yes, indeed. I find it oddly appropriate that the dead fox looks like a middle finger. You're exactly the sort of caring, patient, and charitable woman we need to have on our board. I'd be rolling my eyes so hard if I wasn't dead. So can Curly stand, Judith? Under the circumstances, I don't see that I have much choice. Oh. So, this is over then, right? Aw, oh, hell! Uh, betray me like that again. All three of you will be out on your pointy little ears, ladies auxiliary or no ladies auxiliary. Hooray! We might get shit canned! Forever! It doesn't matter what we do as long as we're together. Christopher Lloyd? I guess you'll do damn near anything for a buck. Never lonely, with you I'm never sad. Every day's a sunny day, you always make me laugh. Nonsensical lyrics. A good times tradition since 1989. Oh shit, the piano player can't stop the beat. He's going to crash! With you, I'm always glad. You are by far the best friend I've ever had. That song goes on a two-minute coke-fueled rage. It felt like a preview of my own personal hell. I wish, I wish I could see my family again. Don't worry, you won't. A skateboard? Oh, Maddie, thank you, I love it! <laughs> oh, fuck you! You could have at least gotten her skates, because nowhere in this movie did she even mention skateboards. And besides, if you got her those, she might, I don't know, shred in a bowl or join the local roller derby. Damn fucking mid-90s bullshit. In about 10 seconds, she's going to look like beef jerky when she falls in the street. Well, at least she knocked over Sarah Palin. I'm stuck in an animation error! Thanks for doing that again. How fast is this dog? Uh, that's not how physics work. You and your little mixed breed mutt are going home. So, now we're done, right? Fuck, really? What's the dog gonna do next? Cure cancer? Please contain yourself, young lady. Honestly, you'd think that during your years with me, you'd have picked up some semblance of decor. Years? That must have been worse than purgatory. I am combining the business of returning you to your parents with the pleasure of taking the gold in the Washington State Dog Competition. Uh, 
Thanks. It's like looking at the Duggars if they were all well adjusted. And I'm using that term very loosely. We really appreciate all you've done for her. Thank you for driving her all the way from California. Whoa. You drove from Southern California to Washington State. That drive from Los Angeles to Olympia takes 17 hours straight through. The hell did you do? Take piss bottles or did the limo have hyperdrive? That Contessa Noblesse can claim the winner's circle in tomorrow's Washington State dog competition. <laughs> The Washington Dog State Competition is a dog sled race! <laughs> well, that seems like an oversight. Those aren't dogs, they're wildebeests! Noblesse is cut out for anything I say she is. She is a champion! I wonder what it's like to have your head so far up your own ass that you can see out your mouth. Know that. Oatmeal, Noblesse! Oatmeal! Uh, that would be mush, Judith, not oatmeal. I knew that. Oh, come on, the Amish don't even find that funny. Gary Oak? Don't be surprised if we take this race. We've been practicing. Practicing dog sledding? In California? Here, sweetie, maybe this will keep your brain damage from growing. Poor Curly is running like his little ass is on fire. <laughs> All right, now, now this movie has to be over. What is there left to do? What is Curly, Puppy Jesus? Oh, it's a tournament. Like those filler Dragon Ball episodes, only worse. There's no drama here. She's doing it for fun. This is beyond pointless, with an elaborate excuse for recycling animation! And Judith! Are you alright? Stay there! I'm you gave up the championship for this? Should let that bitch stay out there! And the dog, too! Haley, help us, please! The ice is breaking! Just let the Ice Queen return to her natural habitat. Help me! Help us! There's a good doggy! Help me, Curly Ben Kenobi. You're my only hope. Well, this just looks more comical than catastrophic. Your catch is too small. Throw them back, Curly. I was so scared, Curly. You're such a good dog. You saved Aunt Judith's life. You're a hero. That's debatable. Thank you, Curly. You're truly man's, or in this case, a woman's best friend. Oh, get a room, Judith. Aunt Judith? Oh, what the heck? You will die in seven days. You'll come and visit your foolish old Aunt Judy, won't you? In hell! Here, Wolf and I want you to have this. You're the real winners here today. Besides, you and Curly had us beat anyhow. Thanks, simp. <laughs> well, that just happened. We put the past behind us. I think mom.exe just crashed. Well, thank J.R. Bob Dobbs, this is over. This DVD is just one tragedy after another. This movie is two girls who are hallucinating and telling me the same story twice. This movie is about a petty little fuck bunny who damn near gets his brothers butchered. And this is the most padded out movie I've seen outside of Dingo Pictures. That's quite an accomplishment for a cartoon. And the reason why is simple. There were four 
four opportunities where this movie should have ended. And did it? No! Why would it? We gotta hit 45 minutes. Gotta make it that feature length, because fuck what you want. This movie, this movie had more padding than a five-year-old escape park who has an overprotective mother. And then on top of that, there are a lot of questions that I know will never get answered, like the following. One, what did Haley's father do that got him shit-canned at whatever job he had that they had to split up all the kids this way? I'll never know. What are the origins of Curly, other than being thrown out of the street by a limo? But magically also has these crazy abilities that even the best trained dogs probably don't have. I'll never know. And what really gets me is out of nowhere, BOOM! It's the mid-1990s, like an RKO. This has got to be one of the worst good times films I have ever watched and it's because of this scene which is the cherry on top of this shit Sunday. Now if you'll excuse me, I have my own litter I need to go and plop out. Is that doggy in the window? Fuck you! Oh, we're gonna just knock this out. How about that? That sounds like a plan. We're gonna knock this out. My wife's complaining that I just ruined counting crows for her. Ah. A bottle on the ride through, or does the hot? Ah, oh, fuck.